Musicians have scales the way musicians have scales. You know, something that develops their ability as they perform it. And this is it. It's a classic. In fact, it's kind of a rite of passage for all sleight of hand performers, starting with three simple cups and one thing very important, a magic wand. Because all I have to do is reach and squeeze like this. And I get a little baseball yes. right from the tip of the wand. That's for cup number one. Now, for cup number two, all I have to do is take it and spin and tap. And I get a second ball for a second cup. Now, you can do other things with these same props. For example, I could just touch, put a little magic onto the cup. And solid passes straight through solid. That's an impossible penetration. Oh, but, uh, but that's ball number one for cup number one. That's ball number two for cup number two. For the third, all I have to do is spin the wand twice, once, twice, and tap. I get ball number three oh right where I want it, right on top of the cup. Now that you uh, have them out here, it's time to start the effect. Now, you know, at, at each phase, I'm actually going to make it easier and easier to follow, so there's no chance for confusion. And if you think about it, it's already pretty simple. All I do is close my hand, okay? Nothing funny. And I push the wand through the hand, and ball number one disappears. Now, you may not have known what to expect, so I'll do it again. In fact, I'll do it exactly the same way, just a little different. That's ball number two. Now, ball number three, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll actually leave my hand open so that you see the moment that the ball disappears. All I have to do is tap. And when it disappears, it goes back to its cup. That's one, that's two, and of course, that's three. <laughs> You know, I said I'd make it easier to follow, so I get rid of one of the balls. I'll even get rid of one of the cups. Now, think how simple it's going to be. I'll even get rid of the wand. Two and two, piece of cake, no chance for confusion. I'll even do it in slow motion, one ball inside of each cup. No question. All I do is snap, and the balls change places. It's subtle. It's subtle, but uh, you know what? It'd be better if I put two cups over one. I cause this one to join the other one. That way it'd be clear exactly what happened. But I'm going to make it even easier to follow by getting rid of one more ball. I'll get rid of one more cup. Now think how simple it's going to be. All I have to do is blow. Just a simple blow. And the ball will disappear. Oh, out here. The ball disappears, it comes back to its cup. Sometimes I put it over here, I get a little snap, until it comes back to the cup. It works every time. I tell you what, I wanted to end with a surprise. So uh, here's what I'll do. I'll, I'll put these back. See, now it's like the three shells in the pea. Would it surprise you if I could make this ball disappear and reappear inside any cup you named? Yes. Yes. Let's see. Yes. Let's see. Let's see what you got. Well. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I, I'll tell you what, I'll do it different. I'll put it away, and this time I'll just snap. Now, when I just snap, you can never tell what'll turn up. Get it? See? Turn up. <laughs> that's a turn up, that's a lemon, that's a big ball. This yeah. for you. <laughs>